sniper behind the picture frame. So if he supposed to be in my crib, then the photo shoot, bro, we scheme too. Cause you can probably tell me every basketball player that ever signed up, but it was 3 a.m. wake up calls and them five people going to court was starting to line up. My stove did warm up drills, bro, every day, dawg. Beefing with niggas in my conference so I can get a playoff. You played full quarters, I sold two halves, and I often fast. I seen fiends recover from everything, but I never seen them rebound off the glass. Bro, that was a quick score. Fast breaks had me selling drugs again because I was back bald. Played in the bubble bubble. Profit off another hustle. 20 grams of coke, 10 grams of cut to us was a double double. First of all, if I see this conversation is going to be from a fan to a battle rapper. Okay. So we just going to talk about the raps. I don't care about none of that other stuff. I'm going to run through some of these battles based on my introduction to okay. you. You tell me where your head was at when these battles happened. I'm going to tell you how I got the score, the final score. You tell me okay. if you agree or disagree. And I might have a couple lines from, from a battle that I want you to, you know what I'm saying, expand on if you can. All right, okay. let's, let's get started. First of all, Easy, I'm a big fan. Salute to you. Thank you for making time for this conversation. Absolutely. I should have been right. came through, though. I was just, I was doing mad shit, though. So, so nigga, you a me. superstar, nigga. I appreciate you, nigga. Fuck all that. All right, so boom. Um, let's start where we need to start. First battle I ever seen from you was Easy versus Stumbles. Do you remember that battle? Yes, sir. The scorecard that I had it as, you won that battle first and third. I think Stumbles had a crazy second. His second was just crazy. One of the quotables I remember from that was, nigga, I'm Muslim. I'm not even allowed to rap. You remember right. saying that? Uh-huh. Is that really your stance that you feel like you, you know what I'm saying, you shouldn't even be rapping for real? Like, right in that actual battle, like, <laughs> like technically, we ain't even supposed to be like doing this, like, musically. And you know, I like the um, write stuff from like what's real life stuff. So, like, at that time, I was like, yo, that's actually a bar. Damn, <laughs> like, that's crazy. Bar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that, yeah, I'm just like, I'll put it in a bar and all it like that. So, it was, yeah, most of the stuff that I write, man, be like real like real life stuff like real life stuff that i went through or maybe a combo that i, I didn't have with somebody or or or, or i didn't seen something like something crazy so like, yeah. well i mean i think that's part of why everybody became such a fan of yours because of the real talk i went back and i watched easy versus don marino you remember that battle no. <laughs> I had you win. <laughs> I had you <laughs> no. nah, That was the inception of 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 uh bullshit. Bullshit, right? Yeah, so, exactly. All right, so let me tell y'all tell y'all a story. So Sko always be like Sko been telling me since a long time, like, yo, you don't never crack jokes, bro. You don't never crack jokes, you'll start cracking jokes. And I used to be like, yo, I be cracking jokes. He'd be like, yo, but you come off so serious that it, it don't be like a joke though like but how i be writing it or how i be thinking of it be like a joke but when i rap it i be so like I, i'm so like aggressive it'll never come out like um, um, as a joke so i'm just like i'm talking to him i'm like yo i don't really got nothing to say about this i don't got nothing to say to this nigga man i'm just like man all them fucking joke them yo i got mexican bars and his mom did this but that shit bullshit man. that shit bullshit that shit like that he, he like yo you should say that. Like, you should say that. I'm like, yeah, you think that a hit? He like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, let me put it down and shit. So I didn't even like it because I'm not really, I don't joke. I don't joke. So I'm just like, I don't want to. Wait, yo, easy. You breaking up. You breaking up. You you breaking up. You good? Yo. Yeah, you can hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. I had a call. Nah, you good. So, so, so that shit was a joke. Is, the bullshit was a joke. Yeah, the bullshit was just a joke, and I I don't really like the joke a lot because I'm not like a joke type of like a battle rapper. So to me, in battle rap, how I feel is if you do something um not in your norm and it doesn't hit, you waste about two to four bars that that can cost you the round, mm. right? So. Um, so that's why I don't really do it a lot because I know what's easy strong points and what easy is not or whatever. So I kind of like transformed it a little bit to not make it a joke. So now the bullshit is about shit that I think that's just like it's bullshit. But everybody still he he ha ha. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I'm at it. That so should be like, funny as right, cool. shit for real. Yeah.
Now that's dope. Mm-hmm. Putting your personality into your rounds is always the move. So I had you winning against Don Marino first and third. This next battle, <clears throat> Easy versus Fonz. You told me to go back and rewatch it, bro. I rewatched it. I still got yeah. Fonz yeah. second and third, bro. No way he won that third bro, round. You was agreeing. fire. You that third round was too crazy. That third <laughs> round was crazy for me. Hey, I'm like, I was just watching it too. Like when I told you to go back, yeah. Yo, every because you know what? Um, he had the judge votes, but I had the fan votes. So when I left the building that day, is I didn't believe I lost the battle because mm-hmm. nobody told me I lost it. Only the judges said I lost it, but the fans had me heavily winning like that battle. Okay. So um, every time I post clips about that shit or whatever, everybody's like, yo, you got robbed. But it does go down to the third. Trust and believe. I know, like, that second round, he definitely took mm-hmm, that round. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? For sure. So it was 1-1 one, one going into the third. So then it was just that. It's that. I don't know. When I got to the lesson in every bar, to me, is when I sealed. Word. When I, to me, when I get to the lesson in every bar, uh, none of her sons came home at the same time. She ain't seen none of her sons at the same time. To me, there's nothing he said. That was realer than that. No, nah, that's, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, all right, I took that joint. But for me, in tournament status, I'm brand new. I'm kind of new on the scene mm-hmm. or whatever. It was still like the um the punchline shit was still like, Word. you know. It you was working like, on your structure you know, still, and all that. Right. Hey, nigga, that still was a fight. That shit was a fight regardless. All right, we agree to disagree. But mm-hmm. on this next battle, okay, That's fine. <laughs> brother, right? easy to block Captain versus Cortez. I'm from Brooklyn. Easy to block Captain versus Cortez. 30. You won every round. 30. That shit was crazy. Definitely. How did that feel? Did you know by the end of the battle you had won completely? You, you know what? That was the first time somebody got me so mad. Like me right in that battle, I was pissed because he just was acting like like um I wasn't shit. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying, like he was making it seem like like this is like an e like this easy for him. Like, oh, I'm just doing him a favor type shit. Like this about to be, you know, his redemption. He was talking about, yo, I'm about to beat him so I can get the surfer or or get my I'm just like, hold up. So so I was actually he was talking like that Cortez was the first person who was talking mad shit to me. So I was writing like, yo, I'm about to try to smoke this nigga boots, like for real. Like I was in like that type of bag. Like, yo, I'm really gone and at that point i was writing them eight hours a day damn like shit i'll come home from work yeah i'll come home from work so when i get on from work i'll write to like 12 at night bro and only sleep like um i was just telling somebody this i'm like yo hard work and ethics is like is two different things but it's in the same brand like i used to work 10 hours go home do the podcast and still write for eight hours and only sleep for four hours and do it again and i did that to the point that i got on until i started making enough bread that i ain't had to work like if you really want something you're gonna be you know what I mean? it's, it's gonna happen. man i hope people hear that and understand like really the key to success is not the bread it's the discipline like the discipline help right. you maintain this shit and to hear the kind of sacrifices you was making people don't see that you know what i'm saying they only see you winning the battle and think is you just woke up and won the battle they don't see all the sacrifice behind the scenes so thank you for sharing that right. the next battle this is the battle that made me an easy to block captain fan like it's one thing that you know what I'm saying appreciate somebody's ability but once you become a fan of theirs that mean when you see their name you watching the battle Easy to block captain versus Danny Myers. What the mm, fuck? Okay. Oh my god, okay. bro. What what bag was you in when you was writing for Danny, bro? Now I want y'all to pay attention to this battle a lot because this is about basically is what I'm about to bring August 10th, right? I don't really have too much to say about ill will, but I know all of easy strengths, right? And I actually went back. It's funny that we bring this battle up because I went back to this last night and I watched this battle because um, me studying for my opponent, he kind of is a still kind of in the realm of Danny. It's like, yo, Danny done battled a hundred times. Everybody done said everything to him. What do I go in there and do, right? So it's just like, all right, go be the best version of you. Like, go say some shit that you know nobody else in the world said. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like go in there. You know, I still was talking to him. I still did some things that people did in a in a in a way that nobody else did it. And of course, you know, we gonna have that round where you know me and Ill gonna talk about some things. But you mean as far as um 
I was in that I was in that bag that I um I told this in an interview. I almost canceled the fucking battle because I was writing for like five days and I couldn't come up with shit. Damn. It was just drug bar, drug bar, drug bar. And I'm just like, all right, I know I could do this. And and, and this is kind of what people say it now. Like they like, yo, E, we want that drug bar shit back. And it's like it's tricky, right? Because I'm 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 definitely gonna bring it back, but the drug bar shit is tricky because that's so easy to mm-hmm. write. Right, I can do that all day. You know what I'm saying? I can do drug bar, drug. I can say some of the most unique and crazy drug bars that because I really did it. I really done sold every drug, like literally, like every one. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I already like I know what I can do and what I can. So that's so when I try to do stuff else, it's just to to sh- like you know do more things that make you a complete person, right? And all of that. But you know, I know a lot of people want that. You know, oh, easy back and all that. So cool. You know what I mean, if people want that cool. It, I mean, that's easy, but so I almost canceled the battle. I called P. I'm just like, yo, I don't need you battle Danny. If you if you basically beat Danny, you up. And this mm. is at the time. I think Danny, if y'all remember this, Danny was like on his champion of the year run. At that you know, he always get to a point where he had a champion of the year running out, and I and I kind of squeezed right in there where he ain't really take an L yet. So he was already like he he aiming for champion of the year. I'm 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 like the new star who they trying to push. It was like ah, this might not be the <laughs> smartest move. Right. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like that. I'm just like, all right, I gotta match this nigga intensity. He about to be up there screaming in my face. Right, <laughs> so let me, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me tighten up for a minute and all of that. But then, um, you know, it was it was more of like, yo, challenge, like challenge yourself, bro. Like this is like this is a a battle that if you come out with this battle and you beat this battle, it's really nobody who you can't see. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, because it's like, he won't bring the intensity. Number one, nobody got more of energy than Danny. Than nah, no head. bullshit. No yeah, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody got more energy. So he up there doing the most. You know what I mean? He, he pushing me around. He talking <laughs> shit to me and all of that shit. So it's just like, all right, you know what? Cool. And then, but, I like battling niggas mm-hmm. like that because I feed off the energy. I said that's that's the first time like I battle and the energy kind of matched each other. Like as soon when he was done, I started going crazy. When I started going crazy, he started going crazy. And it was just like it was very loud. It was a very loud right. battle, but it was a very it was um, a great battle. And that's just it was a great battle, even on his part. Facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know the line of the battle was the confession. The flag. flag. Oh, it's my tight. God. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> oh, my God. That was crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I when I wrote that bat, when I wrote that bar, I said, all right, this is going in the third round at the end, just in case he's winning a round. Because <laughs> you knew that was one of them bars you know that'll saying? win you the battle. Just, yeah, I, just, I, I already knew. I said, this is about to go crazy. And if I land it perfectly and I land it right, he ain't going to be able to stop and this you one. Did. So that's why I put it in my third. Oh my yeah, God. I put it in my third right at the end. And it, 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 it worked. That was it. You know it it, it like did what it was so, supposed to do, yeah. man. That's one of the most. I appreciate that battle, man. A lot of my career, people talk about, you know, the chess battle, mm-hmm. the Indian battle mm-hmm. now and all that. But that that's one of the battles I appreciate. Like, I appreciate that. Nah, battle. that changed my, that made me like an easy to block captain. Like, from that point on, anytime I seen the word easy on the battle, I was like, I'm about to watch. Because that line, that just, anyway, moving on. You versus T-Top. Yeah. I had you winning first and second. Although going into the battle, okay. I think a lot of people counted you out going into the battle because he's such an angler and all that. How did do you remember anything mm-hmm. from that battle? Um, I remember that uh it was like dr- I always thought it was drug bar versus drug right. bar. I knew he was a good um angler, but I just always what because what's sneaky about me, and I don't even think it's sneaky no more, is I be I'm angling too. My whole second rounds be damn near motherfucking mm-hmm. angling from the top mm-hmm. of the round to the bottom of the round. So yeah, you know I'm saying like that is um so it was more like all right, I know he got some he got some shit to say. I just based it on and though do you remember we were supposed to battle on we wasn't supposed that was a super fight. We were supposed to battle on a volume right. card, but he he caught cold. And and um I thought he was bullshit. <laughs> I thought it was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so I had all this extra time to write and shit. And, and people know me. I don't take two battles at a time. I don't, I don't, I don't be, you know what I'm saying, like that. Um, so I only I actually focus on one battle at a time. So it'd be like, all right. I got so much shit for him. So his shit was just like that. I, I, I don't know. That shit was like three months. Like I had like 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 that, that shit in the bag till I went in, start changing shit for him and all of that. So I kind of knew. And then it was a small room. 
So it was just me and him. So you know, I'm like, I'm at that point, I'm just expert 100%. at it. I mean, that'll be, uh, 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 um, the tournament with small room, Cortez with small room. So at this point, I'm going into the small room. I'm like, all right, he got to do, he got to come. Remember, the vets was coming. Um, all right, so easy. I want to have this conversation with you. First of all, this conversation is going to be from a fan to a battle rapper. Okay. So we just going to talk about the raps. I don't care about none of that other stuff. I'm going to run through some of these battles based on my introduction to okay. you. You tell me where your head was at when these battles happened. I'm going to tell you how I got the score, the final score. You tell me okay. if you agree or disagree. And I might have a couple lines from, from a battle that I want you to, you know what I'm saying, expand, expand on if you that a made lot. me like an easy to block captain. Like from that point on, anytime I appreciate that, I, I, I don't know. That shit was like three months. Like I had like 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 that, that shit in the bag till I went in, start changing shit for him and all of that. So I kind of knew. And then it was a small room, so it was just me and him. So you know, I'm like, I'm at that point, I'm just expert. One hundred percent. Uh, 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 um, the tournament with small room Cortez with small room. So at this point, I'm going into the small room. I'm like, all right, he got to do, he got to come. Remember, the vets was coming Facts. into the small room Facts. at this time. So it was just, they were so used to the stages. So I'm just like, he got to come into the small room. And I've been like actually lighting the culture up and I've been giving them what they watching. So I kind of knew I was going to go in there and win that battle. But, you know, him, him, that was a good battle. Too. You did battle Rex and I had you win in the first and second um and i thought the okay. rex battle was great energy like I i've been watching battle rap forever i'm one of the people that remember when rex was like unstoppable you know what i'm saying when like niggas mm -hmm. was standing there scared of rex he was running through the house just smoking niggas got niggas sleeping on the couch all type of shit so i remember that battle the energy the atmosphere i still had you in the first and second how did you feel from that battle like what do you remember from that battle i think i won all three rounds. oh come on me. easy rex ain't get around i do I think I won all. He had to do in my lion shit at the end. I mean, that was it wasn't as impactful. I think if we was on stage, it would have right. been probably more impactful, right. like like on stage and you know what I mean and all of that. But um, I, I don't know. Besides that, in the uh, in the in the coke, if my coke had what the the the, the cake joint, the birthday mm -hmm. cake shit he had, that shit was that shit. <laughs> that, was one of the, that was a crazy ass drug. Bar. Yeah, he was, hey, Rex was cooking. Shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was cooking. He had some shit in that jaw though. Um, but no, I I went into there because y'all know me and Rex promo was probably the most promo Man. since me and Man. Chess. I mean, we we went to the mansion. We argued all weekend in the fucking mansion. Every um, he did his interviews a hundred thousand. I did my interviews a hundred thousand. We were just getting crazy numbers to mm -hmm. that battle, like up leading up to the battle. Like the energy was so crazy. So when we actually got to the battle, I knew because he just kept saying. He kept, I'm in the mansion. He like, yo, I'm not shaking your hand. Nigga, I'm the only one talking to you. Like, he's saying like that. He like, he like all this French. And that's, and he the one who taught me like, yo, just too much friendly shit. Right. Battle rap. Y'all niggas be dapping and, and, and talking and all that shit. He like, it don't make you right. right. Good. It make you like take it easy on niggas. If, if, if they know right. you good, he's like, we'll be cool after the battle. But before the battle, like, yo, don't don't talk to motherfuckers. Like, he the one who taught me mm. that shit. And I mean, he right, though, because me and Chess was cool. But I had to, like, separate that shit. Brother, like, you know I'm, I'm old like, on, Easy. You right, even right. getting into the Chess thing, you versus Chess. I know niggas is going to yeah. disagree with me. I'm just going to say it. I got you winning first and third against Chess. The line for me that okay. did it for me, I don't trust none of you niggas. I talk to myself if I need a friend. Oh, my. God, what the fuck? Right. There's something yeah. I had a lot there's of something about battle, battle rap man. that make like there's an experience in battle rap that just elevates your trust issues if you have them. If you got trust issues, battle rap will make you have way worse trust issues. How did how is that right. that whole battle? That's probably one of the most iconic battles of our time right now. How how was that? And for I you? came and I'm mad that that um okay so I'm half and half about okay. it because I, I would love if, if the if the battle dropped when it dropped will probably be at like ten m's right Man. now. I, I think that battle was probably going to compete with the highest battle, like not the oxymoron and disaster, right? We're not talking about them, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking just about like, it probably was going to compete with the highest viewed on Smash. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like that, because to the point is, you know how fast the me and hit me and shit right. was going. That's how I think, that's how I think that shit was to the point that every time I was going on live, talk about 
Fabulous was playing it mm. on his stories. Lloyd Banks was playing it on his. I'm talking about this is weeks after, weeks after the battle. Like it, it was talked about maybe damn near 60 days after the battle. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like it was it was crazy. And um, I walked off the stage. I thought I won the battle. You know what I mean for sure? But that was the first battle that I said to myself. I said, if y'all got him winning, I'm not right. mad. Because I said I did everything I could do to man. That was a like, battle of the century. Like, Wherever yeah. easy come, easy go. That shit was yeah. crazy. I, I that's still one of my favorite battles of this time period. Like you know, every era has those battles where it's like you could go back and watch it over and over. That's one of them. You know what I'm saying right. for this time period. Right. Um. All right. Next um, battle, <clears throat> you and Sean. I got you winning first and second. How do you? How did you feel about that Sean battle? Oh, uh, I think I edged him every round. Oh, come on, easy, come on, I think, man. I think I think I think I I think, I, I think that we be giving niggas rounds because <laughs> we be, it's not like he choked at nothing or nothing like that. That was a straight, you know, straight bar fest to the straight bar fest. And that's another battle I kind of think that's criminally underrated, Best. bro. Like me and Sean really was going crazy Best. up there. You Best. know what I'm saying? Like that, he had some shit too. I just like I, I was just in that zone and and and. Me watching these battles, man, like every battle that you're saying right now, me mm-hmm. watching them, I'm like, okay, I understand what niggas is. Cer- all right, c- certain battle rappers, mm-hmm. right, is known for certain things. So with me, yeah, I talk drug bars, I talk real life shit and all that. And I'm learning in this last 12 months is like, E, you got to stay there. Because that's where everybody became a fan of you was. That's where that's where niggas. That's why that's why I got my TV shows and I got all of that other shit and endorsements and sponsors because of the shit that I was mm. doing. You know what I'm saying like that. That's like you telling Lux to not be a friend. Right. Or 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 you know what I'm saying, or you telling you dig what I'm saying, or you telling Danny to not you know I mean scream or shine and not perform or you see what I mean everybody got their niche and battle rap that they became them because of them. And all of that, then so it's just like, yo, all right, I'm, I'm like, I see what people want and all that, and um, so that shine, that shine battle was a good joint too, because that's the first time we came back on stage. I, no, 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 chess was we did that was a volume on stage. That's the first volume. Mm, that's hard. That's hard. That's the yep. That's the first volume we had actually on stage Damn. and all of that. And um, yeah, that that was a good, good joint. Okay, too. okay. So then we go to. I want to preface this by saying Verb is on my Mount Rushmore. He's one of my favorite battlers of all Absolutely. time. You know what I'm saying, um, you versus mm-hmm. Verb. I had you winning second and third, and that's tough to say because I'm a verb fan. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I had you winning. He was he was he was spinning that man. first round. He was man. spinning that first <laughs> round. Um that first round, I was like half and half. I was looking at the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm like ah, okay, okay. He was trying, he was trying to spin that first round and all that. He, Verb tried to play a tactic. Like Verb was the opposite. Like Verb kept calling me every day. He like yo, you asking me like how my bar is. Like, stop fucking calling. Stop calling me. <laughs> that's the that's the first time me and Verb kind of got we started getting Word. cool and shit there and all of that. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm like yo, this nigga is funny as shit. I'm just like yo, I don't care how. How much time you try to call me, nigga? I'm going to smoke you, nigga, when I see you, like, and all of that. And also, like, but, yeah, that was his tactics and in, 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 in that. But that was a... Um, it was fire. I had some shit in that battle, too. Hey, man. hey, the, the line, the line for me, battle. you said, uh, I believe in zombies. A lot of people still here, but they dead to me. They oh, dead my... to me. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. What? What, what inspired That's that? That's crazy. What? And when you said that shit, I was like, this nigga living my life. What the fuck is going on? Cause that's that's at the point. By the time I got to verb, I'm already easy mm. now. Now I like I'm, 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 I'm becoming easy to block captain, like really like the next star mm-hmm. of the hundred percent URL and battle rap now. So I'm already there. So now at that point is mad shit's already changing. People that I came up with starting to peep it, you know what I'm saying? Old old family members starting to call me now, like, oh, I see you doing oh, this, I see you man. doing that. You know what I'm saying? So now it's just like, you know, niggas is doing like, you know, shit that, you know, it wouldn't be the the part if you not. Word, lit, that shit you gotta fuck with your like head, that, though. Right. I mean, to the point is, I mean, you know what's coming, or you know, once you or you got or you get around um somebody that they be like, yo. This is what it is because I still had I had 
surf in my corner. I had rock Word. in my corner. I still had verb Word. in my corner and all of that. So just the not as far as battle rap go, just as they been there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They already mm-hmm. been there before. So they're like, yo, this is what's to come or this is about to happen or such and such. But everybody kept stressing to me like, yo, you are the new Battle rap, hundred percent, a hundred percent. Like you know what I'm saying, like that. So it's just like, yo, it's certain shit that's about to come with this shit, good and bad, that you're not gonna be able to control. And I was oblivious to it at first. Like me and Jazz always argue. She like, yo, them niggas about to turn on you soon. Like it happened oh, to everybody. And I'm just like, and I'm just like, I'm like, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. It was and then it happened. So it's like it, it didn't. It didn't. Yeah, yeah. It happened for a stupid ass reason. But all right, it, it, you know it, it, life like, is life. What are you gonna do? All yeah, right, so I'll boom. Get, speaking of your sense of humor and all that, you versus goods. I had you winning first and second. You said what kind of grown ass man sat down and said they want to smell like chocolate leather? That shit was so <laughs> bro. <laughs> nah, Damn, bro. Like, this is the, that goods battle. Shout out to goods, it, by the way. But how, how was that? Yo, shout out to goods. He got some shit happening too, man. And as battle rappers to do shit outside of battle rap. Mm-hmm. It's important to do shit outside of battle rap because battle rap is only short lived as far as the money goes. As you see right now, we in the worst time of battle rap ever. Man. So it's just like when you have other avenues to do, you can be able to survive this type of shit until it picks back up. It always pick back up. Facts. You know I mean always pick back up. Hopefully we you know I mean we gonna pick back up and all of that, but you know I mean you always wanna have some um, other shit. So but yeah, so goods. Oh man, I hate it. <laughs> I don't hate it now. Why'd you hate him? But that might have been that might have been the one nigga like yo ah yo we gotta fight bro like you know what I'm saying like because this nigga yo he know how to troll like nigga like you already know he used to be on my he used to be on my bumper so he used to be like Ari like he got the um he got the fan base already I mean he already good so every time good speak. You know, mm-hmm. people gonna tune mm-hmm. in. I wasn't there at that point yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that when I'm got I got because every battle you're gradually getting fans, right. right? I'm doing more than just battle rapping now. Now at this point is I'm on TV now. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the TV show is out now. TV show is out. So now at this point, I'm like, you be everywhere I'm going now. Niggas is like, oh shit, fresh prince just dropped, fresh prince just dropped. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that. So it's just like you know, this shit is just going crazy. So I'm getting to that point that my fan base is equaling these top tiers. That's you know what I'm saying like that. But he's still good. Facts. You Facts. know what I'm saying like that. So it's just like he know how to, you know, he funny, you know, him and clips and all that. You know I mean, he's funny. So they just so he was just doing a lot of shit that was making me mad. <laughs> now, Sko, Sko, that's my man. Mm-hmm. But that's his favorite bad. That's his favorite nigga too. And bad besides me. So it's good. So he used to be like, oh. Man, yo, you were good, about to have a good one. I'm like, yo, you my fucking man. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, he talking about we about to have a good one. It's the first time, like, his nigga ever said we about to have a good one. Anybody else? He's like, yo, you about nah. to smoke. When they got the good, he's like, ah. <laughs> I don't know, he like such. I'm like, what? Like, man, fuck that nigga nah, type shit. So like, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, all right, cool. So it's like, all right, now I'm like, now I'm definitely about to smoke Word. now. Like, now I'm definitely about to smoke that nigga now and shit like that. But um, so that's where I that's nah, where that I was, was a at. goodie. Like, when I met my that was kid, a goodie. Okay, you and Calico. <clears throat> I know niggas okay. might disagree. I got you winning this one, second and third, and one line that stuck out. Mook, you next. Your career on a treadmill, and I'm up here burning cow. Did you feel like you clearly yeah. won that battle? Like as it was happening, I felt like yeah, because okay, so I won. You, you, I won in the fan votes regardless. Like you mean yeah. heavy, so it's not like it's not like that. Nobody like a, some people say he won the mm-hmm. battle, but that happens every right. battle. So my T Rex battle, to my T Top battle. Some people even got Cortez with it. Nah, that's sick. That's sick. It, but, that's sick. Right, but every what I learned in battle rap is everybody has a core fan base. So as long as your guy, as long as your favorite nigga goes up there and do what you know for him to mm-hmm. do, and it's close, mm-hmm. you're going to have your favorite people to Facts. win. So everybody has that has that thing. And then when we start breaking down bars and aesthetics and and such and such, and then it'll be a little else. So it's just like uh, through my career, you'll see some you'll see people be like, no, he won the battle, even though I feel like I got it clear. Now with Calico. He, you know, he brags about that first round, but to me, I'd be like, yo, the first round to me, not as good because you saying I'm not from Philly and I'm from there. Word, word. You know what I'm saying? Like that is not, I can see that if I really wasn't from Then it hit, word. You were saying, then it hit. My nigga, my album already dropped. 
I got freeway on it, hollow on it. There's you know nothing to talk like, about I at that point. On it. I got all the I got all the heavy hitters. If you want to check my inbox, I got uh, I got Quilly coming to the event, uh Neef and Chris and all of them niggas. Everybody, like everybody, they know who I am. Like niggas be banging with me. So it's not it's not like that. So it's like it's like it's like uh it it was a good rapping, but it just wasn't it was hit. Good yeah. rapping. But it was just like, are, are we going to judge it by what's real and what's not, though? Because, all right, you just made a whole round that was not, it, was, it wasn't. But so he, all right, even if you want to say he took the first round, the second and third to me was clear because, you know, Calico, I study niggas, he write down. So I knew he was going to have a, a good one mm-hmm. round. And then, so technically, I feel like I won all three rounds okay. because I feel like that in certain as certain things that we do as a culture, we'd be like, yo, if this angle was fake, then we don't such and such a like how can a nigga go over there and rap three and a half minutes about not being somewhere that I'm from? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nah, like, nah, I hear what you say. What y'all want to see my birth? <laughs> y'all want to see my school? Nah, n- like, niggas like, want your whole like, history. Nigga, what's going on <laughs> here? Like, god damn, you had no, that's shit. funny like, shit. So, that's the only real reason, but the battle was cool. That's one of my uh, okay it's okay. Battles. Like that's my okay, ass. okay. But yeah. this next one, not though. You versus Hitman, and I'm gonna tell you this: I got you in the second and third. I battled Big T first. I battled oh, Big T shit. first. I missed the Big T. What am I doing? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, you know what? For the I sake of time, I'm gonna just get to this Hitman battle because you know okay. what's going on out here. <laughs> that Hitman battle, brother. Listen, man. I. But we gotta kind of gotta talk about the Big T battle because that was my first battle off. Okay, of let's stat. talk about this. Let's talk about it. So like, like that's like my first battle off of uh, like off of you, you around people. Are like, yeah, I'm saying like, all right, what's going to happen after like after that mm-hmm. battle? That battle actually one that got me the big, that got me the actual. Oh, word. Like, so it was just like, yeah, because niggas was tuning into it. Number one, we did the TLA. Mm-hmm. If y'all know anything about the TLA in Philly, that hold about a 900 seats, about 1,000 seats. We sold that out. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That was sold out. And that's an easy and big T, John. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so imagine if that was somebody else. But my first, like, that shit would have been, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm out of right. pocket. But that was just like my, um, I haven't battled in Philly for like since I started um, mm-hmm. Smack. So that was like 2019. Mm-hmm. So I ain't battled there in almost like four years. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So it was a good joint and all of that. And y'all know I did the top tier. So Big T was in my top tier. Wait, that so top tier to... was a moment in hip hop history. Because it's a lot of this mm-hmm. going on now. But that top tier said it off. Like for real. And then right. the remix was crazy. And the oh remix my was God. Crazy, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So then Absolutely. that gets you to the Hitman battle. Hit but look, man. before you say yeah. anything about the Hitman battle, brother, this is a very highly debated battle. I got you in the second and third. The one line that I love the most is I did shit for niggas now because I thought I knew who they was. Even when they put dirt on my name when it rained, I still find a way to get it out the mud. Like, you got those lines where it's like, oh my God. Like, how do you, what do you remember about the Hitman battle? I won all. Come on, rounds. come on! I knew you was gonna say that. Come on, easy. I won that first round. Now the first round is debatable. It's debatable. That first round is a debatable battle, but I know that's the basketball scheme, though. To ever lined up, it was three a.m. wake up calls, and on five people going to court was starting to mm. line up. So that's that was the bad. I don't think he won that for. That was the basketball scheme. That shit when every time I post that shit, that shit it go, go triple right platinum. Every time. <laughs> that, that, that 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 basketball scheme was crazy. And then the second round was the uh, you ain't married. Mm. It's just so that to me, that's up to well right now. The third, I don't give a fuck about the third. I'm walking home, popping champagne. <laughs> that time, you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> I just tried to get get it done and all of that. But um, no, you know what? Um, that battle was uh was 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 definitely not expected, but it was what was needed for just like the culture and for like a big, big, big matchup because mm-hmm. that was the last. Well, well, Hitman, I mean, um, Nitty and Rum, I guess you could say, was the last, but that was a small mm-hmm. one. So the last big, big matchup that was on stage, I'm talking about three thousand, four thousand people was um easy. You know I mean first right. Hitman? So um, Hitman got into the um the face off. And he said, yo, more inbox 
it's crazy. We pulling up, we pulling up. I'm telling you that most of the building had P hats on. And, and then Damn. anybody was there, and motherfuckers can tell you. Like, so many niggas pop up because, you know what I'm saying? We don't get, Philly don't get a lot of battle room stars. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, a star mm-hmm. one, but of E Ness. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, like it's really passing E Ness, and then it's a whole big ass gap. Right. Maybe 15 years. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? To the point that you are right. And you are relevant and then they came to you know down um where verb acts and moves and went to the Midwest and they skipped us again. Oh wait, we can't we can't hear you, Easy. We can't hear you. You good? Hello? Hello? Oh yeah, you good now. You good now. You good now. Yeah, so, you, so basically like, you were like the next star from Philly type. Would you rematch it, man? Like it looked like y'all talking like that. I mean, I rematch if the bread is right. I rematch. Anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying like that. But who I, <laughs> yeah, who I only nigga that I really want to rematch. I'm not gonna lie. It's Clips. That's the only thing mm. I want to rematch. Wait, we gonna, that. we're gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. We gonna get to that. Yeah. All right. So uh, then you had the the easy versus Reed, and I'm not gonna hold you, bro. This battle gave me that that real Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like feel what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That real rap right. feel. Which I don't, is what, rap, you know I don't rap like that, though. I don't rap like, I don't rap punchline. I mean, uh-huh. I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can I can give you a punchline, but um, I grew up on niggas like Beans. And, Word. And, and, that and real rap. And, and, that and Philly and fucking, rap. And Word. Me Hollow Man and all that shit. Mm-hmm. I grew up on that shit where mm-hmm. even, okay, let me tell y'all a story. I get booked. Um, I'm writing for Swave. So right after Swave, I go to jail the same day. You know what I'm saying? Like that. It's 2014. You know what I'm saying? I don't come home till two, you know I mean? till 2017. But I so when niggas is in the yard and we rapping, I'm sometimes I don't got I got regular freestyles, but I'm in battle rap. Mm. So I got the slave, I got cash, I got dot. So I'm rapping some of the um battle rap shit. Like niggas is fucking with it. But when I start, when I went in the pad and start writing like this story, mm-hmm. my story, and I went out to the yard and start writing the story, they like, yo, that's the shit we want to hear now out here. We don't want to hear that 100%. battle, that battle rap shit. And it was we real. This, we want to hear this real. Right, because that's what niggas can relate 100%. to. But it's a lot of people that do it. And it's a lot of people don't get the same traction as a me and a Rex. And it's a, because you have to look the part and you have to really bend through 110%. This shit. 110%. It's certain bars that a motherfucker could say, and I'd be like, eh. Because you're looking at the nigga, yeah. (laughs) That's a fact. You you didn't even say it right. You didn't even say the bar right. You didn't even say how the coke is mixed Mm. right. You you made it as a punchline so it can rhyme, but if it don't rhyme, don't use it, because that's not how it's done. That's real. That's real. Yeah, you got to find a way to put it together. So it's like once niggas know, I mean, I I remember there's a line I said, I said that, um, I had versus versus uh versus um was it was it Cortez? Mm-hmm. I said yeah. I said no no Fonz. When I said yo, me and my bro- I said yo, me and my brothers all went to jail. Like my, and I said my my mom she ain't see none of her sons at the same time. But I had I had a I had a, a a mom inbox me on Twitter was like I mean on Instagram was like yo I'm going through that right Damn. now like yo I felt Damn. that like you know what I'm saying like I ain't see any of my sons in the last six years. Damn. Like, because they keep going back and forth to jail. They've never been together. Like, some shit. But you only could be like that if you been. The, that's what make you, you great, bro. The combination. I right. try to tell these niggas, like, them punches is cool. But when you speak on something real, that takes you to a whole different place. And even that story is crazy. How did that, how did, like, do you realize you're the voice for the voiceless? Like, you represent people that will never get the chance to tell their stories. And when you up there rapping and you say stuff like that and it resonates, how does that feel for you? Like, do you understand the responsibility and the greatness that that you carry? Listen, my older brother, he just came home from the feds for like eight years. Mm. He just came home last year. He said, he said, yo, you they favorite battle rap nigga. Mm. <laughs> he like, yo, you they favorite like yo when when you battle, niggas find a way to watch that shit, bro. Like you That's know, crazy, like, bro. like up there. You, you know what I mean? Like, so I know like th- th- this shit be like lit. Like niggas really be niggas really be, you know what I'm saying? Like they 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 in tune and like I said, I, I love the punchline shits and but you speak um, for the people, you know what I'm saying? And all of that, but it's like I'm a different rapper. So when they come and tune into me. 
they don't never I don't 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 come in there for no punchlines or no joking joking and all that because that's not that's not what I'm trying to bring to mm. you. I'm trying to bring something else. Now that's real shit. Mm-hmm. That's real shit. Speaking of real shit, you easy versus John John. Everybody in their right. mom. Every time I tweet about this battle, it'd be thirty tweets under the fucking tweet. I had you winning first and second. I gave John John a third. You said you no way he won that. Third. You said, I'm about to give y'all something. Go, go me, me and Ill Will got something dropping. Me and Ill Will got something dropping. We got a, a verse, five rounds versus five rounds, about to drop soon. You know what I mean, I had Rex, I had Mook, and I had Coffee in the building when we was watching John John's second mm. round, bro. Them shits is yo niggas. Yo Mook said niggas got John John taking his back. <laughs> like, that's like, like, on, on the question, that shit was. I'm like, yo, we all watching this shit. Like, yo, this shit dark. This shit was getting dark. But there's no. Way. I had you up two zero, bro. I had you up two zero. It's but it's a little bit of um before. It's a little bit of the bullshit after because you know everybody start doing tactics now to beat me. I understand niggas can't go on stage with me and rap with me. I, we understand that. So what starts from it starts. So he had he you know he dropped the audio. So it was a little bit of the audio of niggas hating me still, right? Because what people don't understand and what people know is I was getting all type of threats. Oh, you nigga, what? like, I mean, we hope you die type shit. Like, oh, you fucked up somebody relationship. What pe- people think is battle rap and they thought it was cool and all hee hee ha ha for them not to even be, I'm still more viewed than y'all. Damn. My thing is niggas did all of that for me to still be more popular than y'all, to still be more viewed than y'all, and to still make more bread than y'all. But at the end of the day is it was more on some shit like niggas don't know behind the scenes whether y'all took it as a hee hee ha ha, don't even know the whole story, but it was bullshit with Damn. that shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like to niggas death threaten me and all of that shit and all bro, like 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 me like like like, like, like heavy. I'm like, sorry you went through so, that, bro, because there's a big difference between being a fan and a fanatic. And I think people cross that line all the time. As a fan, right. I just want to hear you rap. The fanatics be concerned with your personal life, who you date, all that other shit. And I'm sorry you went through that, bro. And salute to you for getting so, through so that. He, so so no absolutely. So he did that. So all through the day me getting ready for the battle, I'm dealing with crazy shit you know niggas calling me oh such and such and all of that niggas like like they didn't so i'm just like all right we get there and then it's like i battle i felt like i won the battle very clear mm. i walked off i said yo this was my easiest battle and like, oh, yeah. <laughs> easiest battle is like you know saying like that <laughs> that's how i felt though that's how i felt i said it's one of my easiest battles in a long time right um i know how many pay-per-views i, I we got we got like 2,000 pay-per-views. I think like 2,000 people bought the pay-per-views. When hip-hop is real, that's crazy. Votes, it was like 55,000 votes. Shit. Because once the audio dropped, that shit hit the shade room, that shit hit such and such. And so it was just niggas that was just voting against me because they didn't like what actually happened. Yeah. Not the yeah. battle. They just didn't like what actually happened in, in real life. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, so it's tactics that these niggas use that's really corny. Like I said, niggas want to be real niggas until they decide to be real niggas. And then no, nobody knows how to be a real, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like that. So that shit is cool and all of that. But I still don't think, even if you want to say I lost to, to Ball, to Geechee, I did not lose to that. Nah, I didn't, I didn't have you losing that John John Bell. And I don't understand the people to do, but I respect. This is an opinionated sport. Everybody got their opinions as all. Always. Uh, my favorite line from the John John battle, you said, you think I give a fuck if y'all turn on me? I live most of my life around my enemies. That is so Thanks. fucking cold and so real. For those of us that grew up in those harsh environments, that is the realest shit ever. Like, oh my God. But anyway, moving on. Last battle. Easy, the block captain versus Charlie Clips. You said, everybody mm-hmm. on that bitch get killed. The only thing we keep is hope alive. <laughs> That was fire. Yo, I know. First no, of that all, that was fire. So uh, God bless you. And I'm, you know, what I'm saying, I'm sorry for your loss. My condolences. Thank you for showing up the way you did, despite everything you were going through, which is really a theme of your whole career. Um, God bless you. I hope you heal. I hope you know that we, you know, what I'm saying, we sending you nothing but love and blessings, bro. A lot of people will miss a battle because they ain't clip their toenails or ain't get a haircut or dumb shit. Right. You showed up at a time where it would have been completely acceptable for you to dub the whole thing. How do you feel about that battle? Right. Well, all right, so I said it again. I felt like that, okay, during the whole week, I already knew my Dukes was sick, but she she was, they said that she had like a month. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, every, like my folks knew already. So it was like, all right, we battle. 
And then I, I, you know, we don't stay there. We just slide. So I did not expect a phone call on Friday to say she gone. You know what I'm saying? Because I went up there Wednesday. I went to I went to Miami Wednesday because I'm running an event and I'm helping run Chrome too as well. So I'm up there running two events. Um, so the day of the, the date, like the day of the actual face off. You know what I'm saying? I get a call that she she passed. So my original intent was, all right, let me miss the face off. Uh, this is what I told Rem. I said, yo, I'm gonna miss the face off. I'm gonna fly home real quick. Make sure like my folks is good, and then Saturday morning I'll just fly back for the battle. And she like, yo, that's too much. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like that. So you want either like either cancel the battle or just wait until after the job. And I just like at that point of like and, like we're here at the career, right? And I'm just like, I don't think I had. I, I don't want to cancel it because I don't feel like going through like the bullshit and all of that right, shit right. like that. And I'm you know what I'm saying I'm just like I just at that point now I was like you know what fuck them niggas, I should have canceled it, right? right? But before, it was like, ah, I don't feel like it, you know what I'm saying? Like, that. if I, if I, if I go in here, I watch clips, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm out of there, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, like, so, it was, um, it wasn't the material, my material was there, it's two things I didn't like about the clips battle, one, of course, I slipped of course, in the round yeah, two, second you know round. what I'm saying? Like, I fucked mm-hmm. up. And then my just, I just didn't like the fucking energy there. I didn't have no energy. I wasn't loud. I wasn't, the, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I wasn't, like, circling a nigga how I usually be. It's just, like, it wasn't there. And I felt like if I wasn't going to at least be even 60% of myself, I should have just canceled it. Right. it. You know what I mean? It's no excuse, though, because it happened. So, you know what I mean? It's there. It happened. And I'm, you know what I mean? But that shit ain't going to I mean, happen again. But the material, and this is why... I kind of get mad at certain people because it's like, all right, yeah, I told y'all I took the loss. You know what I'm saying? Like that. But we're not about to act like, you know what I'm saying? Like the material in that battle wasn't somewhat, somewhat like some, some best no, shit. That was fire. You know that was like fire. 100%. Like, so let me be honest with you. Imagine if your young boy come home chalked out and see his father figure. That shit was nah, fire. Nah, like, crazy. Shit, like, was crazy. Was you was cooking. That you was shit cooking. was cooking. I was cooking in there. It just wasn't. It wasn't the right cook, though. I was cooking on like a six <laughs> or five. Yeah, but considering everything right you went through, easy we like, like I said, man, it's nothing but respect for you, bro. Because a lot of people don't make it to battles for the dumbest reasons. So you was really going through some real shit, which you've gone through a few times before, and it's like salute to you, bro. We don't hold. You know what I'm saying? And and when you walked out of there and you honorably said you lost, bro, I think that to the people that meant everything because like salute to you, bro. Like I know you get a lot of hate, but just know it's a lot of love out here for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. Um, it's always mad love. I got I noticed that too. I it's a lot that. of love like, for you, yo, bro. A lot of people, a lot, it's a lot of love out here. But we, we battle rappers and we um, entertainers, so we always look at the hate. Right, shit. right. You know what I'm saying? It could be a hundred comments. I'll find that one fucking comment that that nigga hate. Like I'll find that bitch. It just, it just stands out to me. Yeah, and all of that. Yeah. But no, as far as um, I feel like that is my duty though as far as like the still the last star which i'm trying to find like the last star i got the trenches i'm trying you to developing one. a lot but of superstars hey hey i hey. am it's some killers Come over on, let's there talk about it's it. some killers let's over there it. it's some tax king it's some killers yes. over there your alpha talent is incredible i want speaking of being a league owner shout out to rem Definitely got to shout out Rem because being a league owner means that you're basically sacrificing yourself. You're losing money. You're putting other people before your own ambitions. There's nothing more honorable than doing that. And it's a very thankless job. So salute to Rem. Salute to you. Uh, Been a big fan of Rem since I heard on Pun album. You know what I'm saying? So big salute to what y'all doing in Chrome 23 and the trenches. It's like it really takes a lot. People don't understand. Like it's the most thankless job in battle rap. And y'all go through the most and deal with the most. Salute, nigga. This 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 tournament. Look, man, I, I'm gonna put some bread down for um for the for the finals of the tournament, bro. Because I've been you told so me, you told me I appreciate yo, that. I have I to, I have to. I've been so inspired by the that. talent that you've been developing over there. The tournament's been going crazy. What what made you even decide to do that? Um, you know what? Yeah, y'all, y'all already know the bullshit I went through trying to start my own league and all of that. So once them once them first car got clipped. I said, all right, I know how to fix that. You know what I'm saying? Well, like that, because at the end of the day, I still got the um, I still got the um, energy. Easy name still be, you know, is is, is popping. Now, mind you, I ain't been out and about for about two and a half months. That's just to get a nigga mind frame together. But when, when, when a battle drops, 
I still get the most views. <laughs> like, I mean, and it just happens when I do um, interviews, I still get that. And I have a lot of outsourced outside people within outside of battle rap, but likes battle rap that want to invest and actually help out. So I'm just like, all right, we're going to knock out a t- tournament and all that. It wasn't heavily approved at first, but I'm just like, I got it. And if you know what I'm saying like that. So um, I, I decided to, you know, I decided to do it. And, um, you know, a lot of people came through and all that, but I feel like i am been in this game long enough that I know what the culture want and, you know what I mean, and all of that. So I just, you know, I picked it out. And I think I did good. I, out of 16 people in the tournament, Frank, how many do you think I got? Look, bro, you got at least five, six. Okay. Seven. Okay. I, know, I, don't wanna, I don't even want to. It's too many. I'm going to keep it tall. I'm going to say that at least half of them have superstar potential and the rest are stars. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not mad at that. And um I'm about to put together the Chrome 23 tournament though too. All all girls. Um Oh, let's go. And, exclusive. And looking, yeah, yeah, exclusive. I mean, I mean, I don't know when is that. I'm putting it together now. We looking for all females, five battles or less though. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like that. Like we really about to we really about to develop the next girl too and i'm gonna have a lot to do with it as far as you know rimbo had a lot to do with it but as far as like spotting the talent i'm gonna have a lot to do with it too as far as that so i am not fire, fire. You know i mean yeah that shit ain't it but yeah so i'm trying to d- develop like the next female so right after this tournament is over i should be making an announcement for the next one that's as fire. far as that one trenches mm-hmm. anniversary that. car easy what am i looking at here yes. this shit is oh, crazy man. Listen, let me shout out to Gerald McCoy. Shout out to Remy. You know what I'm saying? Like that. We all, you know, I'm a born, made it happen. Salute and all to that. Gerald so McCoy. I, appreciate Real it. Talk. I just wanted to be like, yo, it's an anniversary card. I can't have no, it can't be trash, bro. It just can't be easy on Nigga, this shit look like you know the Super Bowl. Like easy versus Ill this Will. Shit. Hollow versus Av. Aver versus Jones. Riggs versus Tex. Zan versus Seabree, the lyricist. King versus Z, the dropout. Sko versus Bo the Great, Dre mm-hmm. Majesty versus Baby Jane. This shit is crazy. What's going on? Right. And if I could find Moose somebody, I'm trying to get a surprise battle to find Moose somebody, but it got to be nice. It got to be. So anybody want to sponsor that battle with Moose, man, you holla at me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Y'all heard it here first, yeah. man. Um, God damn. Me. Okay. So you and Ill Will, man. What? First of all, yes. Ill Will is a very underappreciated, super duper, duper, duper talent. I this agree. man is incredible. Having him on your resume is amazing. But fuck all that friendly shit. What's going on? You and Ill Will. Listen, I'm just back in that bag, man. I'm back in that bag. Um, I, I have never been. I've been nervous one time going into a battle, and that was easy versus chess, right? I felt like that. I said chess at 100%, and I'm not at 100%. It, 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 mean, it could possibly be dark. You know what I'm saying? I'm not at that point, but I'm at the point of where it's just like I know ill will, a good ill will is like me hard to beat, but also a good easy to block captain is kind of, is kind of me hard to beat. Up till we got to them last – three battles we didn't even start saying it's a possibility of mm. career since 2019 mm. Talk so crazy. Man, that's what i want people I, I want people to um understand that you know what i'm saying the clips battle was more on me it's more because i dropped the ball i'm gonna accept the l but it's more because i just dropped the ball and all of that and i can i can pinpoint or have different excuses but as niggas is not coming up there with me and rapping with me and and they're winning battles because they're rapping with me a lot of niggas got to do other shit to win battles so um i feel like that I, I, I listen to the fans. I'm hearing what the fans say they want. Yo, we want that old easy back. We want that pain shit back. Even all the shit you talking right now, Frank, every line that you giving me you like is that real shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is, is not it's not a punchline. It's not like nothing crazy. It's, it's, it's really, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I got rounds for this. Let's go. Let's I go. Like I, got, right. I, got, I got rounds for that. So it's just like, all right, cool. Y'all want that? That's easy. I mean, I'm home. Um, 
and and I think this is going to be the one. I'm back in that Let's bag. Go. You know I'm saying? Let's I'm back go. in that bag. I'm back in that bag. So and and, and ill no, I told him I said yo, I'm I'm back in that bag. I'm back in that in, in, in that, and I'm excited. Ooh, the, the whole you know culture like, excited. excited. Easy, we this. all want to see this. Right. Like this card is crazy. All right, so I all do right. want to say one thing. You mentioned the Chrome uh, tournament for the ladies. Definitely tap in with Dejan T. She got a, a a league bars and roses. They are incredible. It's all females. They doing their thing. Destin is over there. J Artillery is over there. It's they, she really building a whole squad of killers, and they all women. So Dejan T, I'm a I'm gonna send you her information. Definitely, you know what I'm saying. Tap in. And my final question to you, Easy, and thank you for even doing this. I know you're mm-hmm. a busy man. This is my last question, I promise. Absolutely. Easy, I've been a fan of yours. I just showed you how many of your battles I watched, how long I've been following you. Uh, I'm going to be retiring from sponsoring at the end of the year, and I cannot leave uh-huh. this fucking industry without sponsoring one of these three battles. Easy to block okay. Captain versus New Jersey Twerk. Easy to block okay. Captain versus Miss Hustle. Or easy to block Captain okay. versus Tay Rock. Of those three battles, which one should I get my hopes up for possibly happening before the end of the year? I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep it honest with you, and I and, I, and I'm even back on that shit because I know that's what all my fans love that shit. When I just keep Please. it a buck. If, if if until until I don't think Rim gonna approve the easy and hustle shit. Okay. So that probably okay. That's a dub. That's a dub. Okay. Yeah, but any rest of them niggas, I'm cool with. I want to smoke twerk and I want to smoke. Ooh, I'm gonna do everything in my power, easy. All right. With that said, easy to block Captain Barbershop Talk. Thank you, easy. I appreciate you. I'm a fan of yours. The culture loves you, supports you. Focus on the love, not the hate. I got you in it too.